morning. But I'm going to do a couple of scripture notes before I read the scripture this evening, uh, just to kind of get us into that. Obviously, this Bible is too heavy for this stand. Anyway, we'll see what happens. You can see it decline. Well, tonight's scripture reading is from Genesis uh, uh, 32, verses 24 through 30, where we hear, as we were talking about earlier, the great biblical story of Jacob wrestling all night with God. And after a night of struggle, after a night of keeping the faith and persevering, in the morning, Jacob sees God's face and receives God's blessing. A blessing of God that guided Jacob, that directed Jacob in his life, and gave Jacob the strength to get through the toughest time in his life. And so the golden message of uh, the story tonight that we're going to hear about Jacob wrestling with God is this. In times of trouble, in times of trouble, keep the faith and persevere. I'm going to read from the Children's Spark Story Bible tonight, and uh, we'll hear the story of how Jacob wrestles. It's on page 46 if you'd like to follow along. I know it's not in every pew. But here's his story from Genesis 32. Jacob was on his way home from a long trip and stopped to sleep by a river one night. During the night, a man woke Jacob up and began to wrestle him. Jacob was surprised. Who is this? He wondered, what does he want? After wrestling all night, the man begged Jacob to let him go. No, said Jacob, not until you have blessed me. And the man asked, what is your name? And Jacob told the man his name. Then the man blessed Jacob and said, now you'll have another name, Israel. It means you have wrestled with God. The word of the Lord. And let us pray. Lord, we're grateful for the great stories of the Bible and how they teach us life-giving lessons for our journey through this world. Tonight we're grateful for the story of how you loved Jacob so much that you wrestled with him and helped him through one of the toughest times in his life. Lord, we're grateful that you are always with us, always there to strengthen and guide us through the trials, tests, troubles, and tragedies that come our way. Thank you, Lord, for being our hope and strength and for teaching us a lesson that in times of trouble, keep the faith and preserve. Amen. I don't know about you, but I love the story of Jacob wrestling with God all night long. I love the story because it teaches, again, one of God's golden lessons that guides directs and strengthens us so we can get through even the most troubling times of our life. We have many things in common, you and I. One of them is we all got our troubles. And when they come, we wonder, how will I deal with them and how will I get through them? Well, the golden lesson that God teaches us tonight is simple and profound. God teaches us in times of trouble, keep the faith and persevere. Uh, This simple and profound teaching of God is one that has guided and directed and strengthened God's people from generation to generation from the beginning of time. In the Bible, we hear from the beginning to the end how when troubled times came to God's people, God called them. When troubles come, keep the faith and persevere. And so in Scripture, from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to Moses, from King David and Daniel to Jeremiah and Isaiah, 
And all the way to Peter and Paul, God calls and teaches that in times of trouble, keep the faith. And the scripture says it this way in the book of Hebrews. When you keep the faith and persevere, Abraham obtained promises, and Moses passed through the Red Sea as if it were dry land, and the walls of Jericho fell, and the mouths of lions were shut. In times of trouble, keep the faith and persevere. Let's take a closer look at the story of Jacob wrestling all night long with God and uh, the golden lesson that we're talking about. And I'm, I'm repeating myself, and I, I, you know, I want us to leave tonight just thinking and knowing and be assured of this life-giving lesson of God that in times of trouble, keep the faith and persevere. Let's take a look at the story of Jacob wrestling all night <clears throat> with God. What we know from the biblical story about the night Jacob wrestled with God is that the next day Jacob was going to meet his brother Esau, whom Jacob hadn't seen for 20 years. He hadn't seen his brother for 20 years. Jacob had arranged the meeting with Esau, which was going to happen the next day after our text. In the meeting, Jacob uh, wanted to come to his brother, Esau. And he was going to ask his brother for forgiveness. And he was going to ask if their relationship could be restored. He was going to make amends to his brother after 20 years. 20 years earlier, Jacob had lied and deceived and tricked his blind and aging father into giving him the family birthright and family blessing which belonged to his brother Esau. In stealing Esau's rights and property, what happens next to Esau and Jacob's relationship is what we'd expect if your brother or sister would have stolen your property that was your right or your blessing. Well, of course, a deep rift occurred between the two brothers and they split. They wanted nothing to do with one another. They despised each other, and they, which caused them not to speak for 20 years. Now at the time of our scripture reading, 20 years later, we find Jacob and again, he's made arrangements to meet with his brother Esau. And what does he want to do? He wants to ask for forgiveness. And he wants to make amends to the relationship. But Jacob is fearful of meeting his brother because in these 20 years, Esau had become a very powerful man with great wealth and armies. What we know is this, that Jacob is nervous about the meeting. He's afraid of what Esau is going to do to him. And rightfully so, because Esau has every right to be angry. He has every right to lash out at Jacob and to perhaps even endanger his life. Esau has every right to be anything but forgiving and merciful and kind. And so we arrive at our text, and it's the night before Jacob is to meet Esau. And on this night, Jacob wants more. He just, soul deep, wants to make amends with his brother. But Jacob is battling. <clears throat> He's struggling. He's wrestling with the fear that he has inside of him in meeting his brother after 20 years of deceit. And inside of Jacob's life, He's experiencing a dark night of the soul. He's plagued with his vulnerabilities, just who he is, his sinful self, because of what he's done and how he's stolen from his brother and he, how he did it in such a cunning way, an evil way. It's been eating at Jacob for 20 years Jacob is struggling. He's wrestling with everything in his mind and soul. And what, 
we know is that Jacob was doing all of this in the context of faith. He was doing it with God. Because Jacob did believe, and Jacob had the faith that God would make things well, and he was going to persevere. So Jacob shared all the elements of his struggle with God that night. All night long, he shared his struggle with God, and God wrestled with Jacob. And the beauty of the story is that in the morning after the struggle was over, God blessed Jacob. Jacob kept the faith. He kept struggling. He kept wrestling with with what's inside of him, and he was acknowledging. And when Jacob met his brother Esau the next day, Esau ran to welcome Jacob back into his life and forgave him and only spoke words of kindness and affirmation to his brother. It's, it's one of the most and the greatest reconciliation stories of all time. And it shows us the power of confession and forgiveness. And the story of Jacob wrestling with God teaches us a golden lesson. Keep the faith and persevere, and there will be a sunrise of blessing in our lives. Well, keep the faith and persevere. If there is trouble in a relationship you have, keep the faith, pray about it, put it in God's hands, and persist in working on it. If there is trouble at your daily work, tell God all about it. Wrestle with him about it. Share your struggle with him and find what part you play in the trouble and don't give up. There's light at the end of the tunnel. If there is inner conflict raising up within you, take it to the Lord in prayer. Pray as Jesus teaches us this week in the Gospel of Matthew. Go find a quiet place and pray. And as Jesus suggests, keep praying. Pray your way through your troubles. He says, you know what? Be persistent in prayer. He says, ask, seek, knock. Keep praying. Keep wrestling in prayer with him because he says, when you ask, what's going to happen? You're going to receive. When you seek, you're going to find. And when, the, when you knock, the door is going to be opened unto you. Keep the faith. And persevere. If you're grieving over a loss today, whatever the loss may be, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, loved one, spouse, job, whatever the loss may be, pray and hear Jesus' words in the gospel. Don't lose heart. Pray without ceasing. God's call to each of us on this night and always is very simple. That in times of trouble, keep the faith and persevere. And when we do, and when we practice our faith by using the quality of faith called perseverance, a sunrise, a blessing will come to our lives as it did for Jacob when he wrestled all night long with God. Friends, May God bring a sunrise in your heart today. And may he bless you as he did Jacob. Well, God's word is great. He teaches us life lessons and how to get through troubled times. When they come, remember, keep the faith and persevere. In Jesus' name, amen.